Kevin, eventful game today. What do you oh, no, absolutely, yeah, it was. Um, it's, it's another game, I, I felt we were the better side. It was a tight game. Um, I thought we dominated the possession. Um, but we just didn't, we didn't test the keeper enough. Uh, maybe let him off the hook a little bit. I thought it was a game for the, there for us to win. Um, but I've got to give the players credit as well to come back twice from a goal down and both of them goals been against the run of play. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with that side of it. You said those two goals were against the run of play. They certainly were. Was, could you criticise the defending around both of those goals? Could you do more to keep them out? Yes, we could have done. We could have done more to keep them out. So we've got to start keeping clean sheets. Uh, the second one, I think, with with uh, Elliot, I think he possibly defended slightly better. But I still think it was, there, there was a lot of poss a good, strong possibility of the free kick there. The lads give him a little tug. Um, but I'd like us to have not conceded them goals. Two goals you did score though, they were ones to definitely watch back on the highlights. The first one especially, Simone Akinola. Can you find any words to describe how good that goal was? No, I well, know, it was fantastic. You know, I'm really pleased with him because he works really hard, he thinks about the game a lot, um, he works really hard um, and, and he's, he's been desperate for that first goal and to get one like that, that's great for him. And obviously Jamal as well, uh, he's had a very good performance today. Uh, and, and got that goal as well. So, like I say, I'm disappointed that we, once again, disappointed we didn't pick up three points. Um, pleased that we came back from behind twice. Um, and pleased that in the end, as well as a draw, because uh, they, they had a chance from a corner. So, there's, there's a real, there is a naivety about it sometimes. We could have thrown that away at the end again. You mentioned Jamal's influence on the game. He really did stand out above everybody else, really, today. How important is it for your big players and your experienced players to step up at times like these when things aren't going so good for you on the field? Absolutely. I mean, I've, I've actually played with Jamal and I've coached him at, at twice as well at Leighton Orient. Uh, and I know that he's, he's got that in the locker without a shadow of a doubt. He, he's played at a, a, a high level. Uh, he's confident enough to get on the ball and, and he can make a difference. Um, and hopefully um, the, the lads or the other lads, the younger lads, that's the mix between um, the young and old players in the side. Last week at uh, Accrington you said after the game you might potentially look to sh shake things up a little bit with a team selection. You brought Shane Kojo Corral in off the bench today. I think that was his debut for the senior side. 19 years old. Did he impress you? He looked all right, didn't he? Yeah. I know it's interesting today. Do you know what? We, we had eight injuries today. Uh, one lad out, out with illness. Um, so we are pretty much down to the bare bones. But you know, at Barnet Football Club, the, the, the youth players, that's, that's the lifeblood of this club, the young players coming through. You look at the likes of Mauro and Eddie Johnson, and he's another one that's come through today, and he's impressed me in training. Uh, and I was really pleased when he come on. You know, he's something different. He's a little bit of a lad at Leighton Orient that people got aside that I played, uh, Scott Kashka, and he's a similar type to him. Can't have been easy for him out there. It's, I'm sure he's heard it before in his career. He is on the smaller side of things, but he coped well in what was a very physical game. Yeah, he's got pace, he's got good movement, and with them little, little, little lad like him, he's, he's a little terrier. Um, he, I'm sure he's used to getting kicked, but he's, he's got something to prove now. I think he hasn't really had an opportunity, uh, and he comes down, I was really pleased with him. So it's another game that you haven't won. I'm sure today, did it feel like coming into today's game like a must-win game, or would you, I suppose now, considering the circumstances, you'll take a point? Yeah, it's, it was a strange one, actually, because... Um, you obviously want to come in and win every game, but all you can do, I can't worry about that, all I can do is make sure we work harder to, to try and make that happen. Again, performance was okay today, but it was, I say, two two instances where we could possibly do better that's cost us a game. Uh, equally, I think we've got more draws, second top drawers in the team, in the league. Blackpool only, but we've got 14 draws. 11 wins, 11 losses. Uh, we haven't won against 11 men since the 2nd of January. So there's, there's work needs to be done there. This is not, it's just happened over two games. This is something we're going to have to continue to work with. But it, it's, it's a process that, probably while we're banging in the middle of the league at the moment, but as I've said, once we get that win, and the belief comes in again, and you can turn a corner with it, and, and hopefully you'll get on a run. But it, was a, it did look like there was quite a few sort of tired legs out there today, so I definitely, probably need to, so although it isn't a big spot at the moment, I need to have a look and see what else, see what's available to freshen us up a little bit. Did you get the reaction you wanted from Saturday's performance, which I think was fair to say was a little bit under par? Yeah, well I say we, I wouldn't say it was totally under par, to be honest. I thought it was a very tight game and they, they, they won it from a free kick. Um, that was probably quite an average type of game in league two. Um, today I was really pleased with the spirit in coming back from twice and I think that the players can can hold their heads high by doing that because that's not an easy thing to do.
and looking ahead to Wednesday, plenty of positives to take into a game. Another chance to get that first win for you as well. Yeah, always. I'm, I'm a very positive person anyway, so uh, I'll certainly be taking a few positives out of, out of today's game. But, you know, we're going to have to reflect and have a look at a few of the things that we can improve on as well.